Hey everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed. Are you winding down on packing your shoe boxes? Or are you just getting started? <laughs> Whatever the case may be, you've got two more weeks until collection week, which is November 13th through the 20th. And I'm here with another shoe box to hopefully inspire you along the way. This one is packed for a five to nine year old boy and it was inspired by a t-shirt and the animated movie Ice Age, which unfortunately I never saw, but I had so much fun putting it together and learning about all the comical characters that were in the movie who lived two and a half million years ago. And I think it's filled with a lot of joy for a five to nine year old boy. It's packed in an average sized standard shoe box that measures seven and a half inches by 12 and a half inches that I gift wrapped. I added my label, which is marked for a five to nine year old boy. And I decorated the inside of the lid with some packaging, some ice age packaging from something that's in the box. some cars that are in the way. So let's take those away. When he removes that, that's what he'll see. As you can see, there's a pair of flip-flops in here and it created this nice little well. I had these cool turbo wheels, miniature racing cars. These are those uh, die cast cars. It's actually a pretty nice uh, little toy and you slip the cars into the housing of this shooter and you press here and it shoots the cars out and you can put up a finish line. And I decided to keep it in the packaging because I felt it showed better and looked like a new toy and he could see, you know, what he's supposed to do with all these pieces and what goes with what. So that fit nicely in there. And a poppet, just a blue and green, nice quality poppet that makes a nice sound. And just like the woolly mammoth Manny in the Ice Age movie, I gave him a tie beanie woolly mammoth. This guy's name is Giganto. And the poem says, when you see me, be prepared. I'm really big but don't be scared. All that matters in the end is that I want to be your friend. I think he's really cool for a boy. And some of you might remember me finding this woolly mammoth at Savers. I was looking for a different tie beanie and Savers packages their tie beanies to, to a bag. So you have to buy what, what's in the bag if you want one beanie, you get the other one too. Um, I forget what the other one was that I was actually looking for. And it just so happened the woolly mammoth was the second Thai beanie in that bag. And I was so excited because I knew I had this box that I was collecting for. He's got a pair of flip-flops with sharks on them. Now sharks lived during the Ice Age, I came to find out. Today there's 400 to 500 species of shark and nearly all of them existed during the Ice Age. I will say that Ice Age product is not the easiest to come by because the movie was out quite some time ago. Um, so I had to resort to Amazon for a couple of things in this box. I think this coloring book was $4.99, so yeah, not, not a dollar or a dollar twenty-five, but it, it didn't cost me anything because I used a gift card on it. It's a really nice Ice Age coloring book with all the crazy characters, and it's on nice white paper on one side of the page, so he can use markers to color in this if he wishes. And honestly, I don't remember if I gave him crayons or markers. I packed this long enough ago. Let's put that here. 
and he's got a spiral notebook for school. I gave him a Crazy Eights card game. This came from the Dollar Tree. He's got a jump rope. He has one of those really cool clear bounce balls with a figure inside. There's no liquid in here. It's just um, he's molded in there. And this happens to be a seal and was given to me by our friend Nicole from Kit Nicole YouTube channel. She lives in Canada but took a road trip down to the States over the summer and she dropped off some goodies for me. This was one of them. So I was excited because I thought this was perfect for this shoe box. He's got a lip balm, icebreakers, of course, <laughs> and I slipped it into a little uh, zippered bag just in case. I don't know that these really melt, but just in case. So he's got that and a whistle that I attached to a lanyard. The whistles come from Amazon as well, and I think I bought those, uh, a box of those with a gift card. And one of the other things I got with a gift card are all these Ice Age animals. Let's see if I can find them all so I can go through them. So this one is Manny, the aloof and grumpy woolly mammoth. And this one is Diego. Diego is the sarcastic saber-toothed tiger. And this is Sid. He is clumsy and annoying, but a cheerful sloth. Then we've got Scrat, the saber-toothed squirrel. And this is Buck. Buck is a weasel who lived in the underground dinosaur world. Then the last two are Crash and Eddie, their twin brother possums. Eddie is the loudmouth daredevil, and I think that's him. And Crash is hyperactive and fond of extreme sports. <laughs> so there we have the brothers, Crash and Eddie. So I got that on Amazon. I had it in my cart. It went on sale. Um, I, th I think I got it for $7.99. I'm not positive, which was a great deal for that set. But again, I paid for it with a gift card, so it didn't cost me anything. Now, of course, uh, dinosaurs did live during the Ice Age. So I gave him a whole bunch of dinosaur figures, which were given to me by my friend Val from V. Swain Shoebox Sundays. So I don't know how many I've got here, but quite a few. So we have a dozen little dinosaurs. I gave him a couple of Hot Wheels cars. I tried to look for the coolest ones I could find in my stash, because we know that boys love Hot Wheels cars. And I was also able to fit in this box um, some Legos. It's just a small little kit, 71 pieces, and it has ideas of all different little things, little vehicles he can make. And this was contributed by my friend who I refer to as Sally. He's got a jumbo polar bear eraser. We all recognize that. That came from the Dollar Tree. And I put it in this bag because these erasers leach oil sometimes and I can already see that, you know, it's got the plastic stuck to it. Anyway, I'm not going to open it, but I cut out part of the package that says Jumbo Eraser in two languages. I think that's probably French uh, and, and English. He's got a few foam stickers, and he has a shirt. The inspiration for the box, it's, it's a short-sleeved navy shirt with 
an Ice Age graphic on the front that has Manny, the woolly mammoth, Diego, the saber-toothed tiger, and Sid, the sloth. And that looks like, I don't know who that is. Could be Scrat, the squirrel. I think that's Scrat, the squirrel, sticking his head out of the ice there. I got it at Old Navy using my Gap Rewards, and I put a little sticker on here, which I'll take off, to remind me that I only paid 30 cents for it. These were originally $14.99, and I bought it in a boy's size medium. He has a pair of underwear. They are blue camo, and yes, we can send colored camouflage. We are allowed to send a colorful camouflage, just not the traditional color camouflage that would make a child possibly be mistaken as a soldier. And a pair of socks. He has a bandana. I love this light blue color. This is one of many that were sent to me by my friend Denise L. And I like the light blue because it pulls that light blue out of his shirt. Oh, and I see he's got another pair of socks hiding there on the bottom. This has a Lego blocks print on it. And a pair of sunglasses that I put in a little case that cost me uh, a penny. These, this came from Walmart it actually was supposed to have a pair of sunglasses with it, but the sunglasses were missing, and these were those uh, sunglasses and cases that they had marked out of stock. So when I scanned it, it scanned one penny. So I didn't care that it was missing the sunglasses because it worked for me. And the sunglasses came from Walmart for a dollar quite some time ago when I was finding sunglasses for a dollar. These are like a navy blue and uh, that's the ESPN logo. So he's got a cool pair of sunglasses. Okay, I'm finding all sorts of things in the bottom of the box. <laughs> Another pair of underwear. So he does, and these are navy, solid navy. So he's got two pairs of underwear and two pairs of socks. He has a nice big fat pencil pack filled with all sorts of pencils and pens, colored pencils, scissors, um, different kinds of erasers, a big one and cap erasers, a couple of pencil sharpeners and a couple of little uh, animal erasers. One's a polar bear and one is an arctic fox. And I have a six inch ruler I need to add to that bag as well. Oh, so I did give him markers. So he's got a 10 pack of markers to color in his coloring book. He also has some Play-Doh clay. So I think he'll enjoy playing with this. And of course, I'm just gonna leave it in the packaging so he can have fun molding it into different shapes. He has a card, note, and photo from me, a little bent, but he's got it. And a National Geographic Kids Prehistoric Mammals that has the woolly mammoth and saber-toothed tigers on the front. It has a lot of fantastic pictures inside. It explains all, all about prehistoric mammals. I think he'll enjoy that. Whether he can read it or not, he'll enjoy the pictures. And oh, I see why I didn't put a six inch ruler in there. I gave him a full sized 12 inch ruler that has inches and centimeters on it. And he has a bunch of stickers, some different Christmas stickers, space stickers, Christmas stickers, because they have polar bears and dinosaurs and that sort of thing. Oh, and I gave him a Transformers sticker play set with a, it has a play scene and the, the stickers, which came from the Dollar Tree for a quarter. 
So he's got some stickers. And the last thing in his box is a Lightyear uh, foldable tote. It has nothing to do with the Ice Age. It's on the complete other side of the spectrum from space to Ice Age, but that's what I have. <laughs> and that is the Ice Age shoebox I packed for a five to nine year old boy. I think he's gonna love it. I would have loved all this stuff in here, even if I was a five to nine year old girl. I hope you enjoyed watching and got some ideas and inspiration for your boxes this year or next year. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you'd like to know more about Operation Christmas Child, there are links in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye now.